guys, what's up? It's Yami here and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Craft. We are getting into the spirit of witchery right now. I have created a little bit of a witchery room. I would also like to make some doors for this so people don't know what's going on in there. Because we have started with the witchery mod, I would like some witchery styled clothing such as the witch's hat, which is made with golden thread, glowstone dust, and impregnated leather, which is kind of a little bit crazy, but we can get making that. That's gonna be so cool. Finally, I will be a true witch. So let's go ahead and start off with the golden thread, which is made with whiff of magic and also hay bales. I am too lazy to go make some hay bales. So what I'm gonna do instead is go to my barn and take the ones that are in there. I know, I could probably make some very easily, but I'm just so lazy. I remember we put a rubber ducky in here and I think he's escaped. Now all that's left is poor Bella. Maybe the animals keep jumping on these hay bales and getting out the window. It's kind of a good thing that I'm taking all of these away. So I have my glowstone dust. I've got a ton of leather and I just need some whiff of magic. So yeah, my altar is not really powered right now, but I'm sure it'll do. Put our spinning wheel down. I guess we can put it anywhere, really. I need to put in my hay bales and my whiff of magic. I don't have yet, but I can easily make. Oh, I have whiff of magic in my backpack. That was good. Put in my whiff of magic and my hay bales. We should get ourselves some golden thread. I also need to get myself some impregnated leather, which is a bunch of whiff of magics and some diamond vapor. I have some golden thread, cool. I just need to make myself four pieces of impregnated leather. I'm gonna need loads of diamond vapor and loads of whiff of magic. Currently trying to make all of my stuff in my witch's oven. Also, I need to set up my kettle just in case it starts to set fire to everything. Hopefully it won't, but I'm not sure it could and that's an issue. So if I put it in the corner over here, it might not be in, I don't know, I'm scared. And I need to put down my distillery. Okay, so let's light the fire. This is where I log back onto the server and my house is burnt down. So I need to get my diamond vapor in the distillery. Okay, so I need to make myself four pieces of impregnated leather. This is exciting and also scary because I don't know if I have enough of everything. Probably don't. Oh! This made eight, that's good. Okay, and now I just add everything together and I should have myself a witch's hat. And I have myself a witch's hat. How cool is this, guys? I made myself something. I feel so proud. So it's time to try the hat on. Is this gonna look good? Oh, cute, and the turtle stays on there too. I love this hat. The turtle is kind of inside of it, but it looks really cute anyway. Well guys, looks like my shelves are filling up. Maybe I need to get some more, but for now, I am done with witchery. I'm gonna move on to something else. Recently in the Crazy Craft world, we have updated our inventory pets mod. Now we have a bunch of new pets that I haven't seen before, such as the silverfish pet. I've never seen that. Or the wolf pet. So yeah, I'm gonna start making some of those today. The first pet I'm gonna make is the Pac-Man pet. He auto eats for you when you're hungry, which is so cool. And he gives a super damage boost. So I need golden nuggets, a diamond, gold, and a cookie. That should be really, really easy to make. Although I do need to make some more cookies. Let's make ourselves some cookies. I've not made some in a very long time. Oh yeah, we have like 64 cookies now. Overkill much. Just made myself some golden nuggets, pop them down the side, get my diamond, my gold, and finally my cookie. And we have the Pac-Man pet. He is so cute. I love him. Oh my gosh, he makes the Pac-Man noise as well. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite pets. On the wall you can go. And you look amazing. So the next pet is a cheetah pet, which uses blaze powder. And is it just me or does he look like the Cheetos cat? I think that's why he's using blaze powder. So I need some either raw beef or chicken and a bunch of blaze powder. The Pac-Man pet would be so good for me because I legit forget to eat all the time. So we have a load of blaze and also chicken. Let's pop everything together and we should have ourselves a cute new pet to add to our wall. The Cheetah pet. He gives you haste, super speed boost and also he likes to eat raw meat. Does this guy really make us go fast? Oh my gosh, he makes us go so fast that my game does not even like it. Oh wow, this is crazy. It's so good. I might use this actually, this is cool. I thought the chicken pet made you run fast, but this is just insane. So you can go in there, 
I'm still going fast. It's not even on me anymore. Oh, it lasts for a while. That's cool. Another pet is the silverfish pet, which uses iron nuggets and cobblestone. All right, so let's make this guy, put these in, and finally our cobblestone, and we should have ourselves a cute little silverfish pet. He makes it so you're immune to suffocation, say if you get stuck in a sandy situation. He can walk through walls and his favorite food is cobblestone. What? Can we really walk through walls? Let's test it out. Oh, that is so cool. We could maybe use this in a prank sometime. Let's go add this guy to our collection. And I'm gonna make one final one before I end the episode, just so that we have a full wall of inventory pets, which is crazy. The final one I'm going to make today is the house pet. You can teleport home with him, set a home point, which this could really come in handy. And his favourite food is ender nuggets. So we need to get ourselves an ender nugget and a bunch of wood. I can tell this is going to be my new favourite pet. The new ones that they added in are actually all pretty awesome. So I'm sure I have one of these end nuggets somewhere. Yes, just one. I have a bunch of wood in my witchery place, so let's go there and take some. Some wood down either side, my end nugget on the top, and then my diamond and my gold. We have a house pet. Okay. So we can set a home point by sneaking and right clicking. I'm gonna go do that downstairs. Sneak and click. Woo! He sounds like a little doorbell. And now to truly test the pet. I'm outside of Joel's house and I'm gonna click on it and hope that we end up at home. We did, how cool is that? Oh, this is awesome. I love this new pet. I'm gonna put him on the wall for now, but I may just take him with me everywhere I go. Or actually, a better plan is just to make another one so that I can have two. So there we have it, guys, a full wall of inventory pets. I don't know if I should maybe continue this on the sides as well, or just make an entirely new place for them all. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. This is where I'm gonna leave the episode, guys. If you did enjoy it, do make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!